Hey, it's April, and today I'm going to be making my Fallen Angel design using this Monster High Draculara doll as a base. To prep, I remove the factory paint with acetone, cut the hair off, boil and remove the head, pull out the roots, and now we can get started. My design has a lot of detail in the torso area, so to make more room, I'm extending the body. Using the Sharpie line as a guide, I carefully cut through the waist with my Dremel. Then slice through the torso peg with a knife and pull in half. I now need to rebuild the peg, so I'm putting an epoxy blob on the end, making a hole with the armature wire, same again on the bottom half, but this time leaving the wire in place. Once cured, I glue the pieces together with super glue. And secure with more epoxy. Now we have a sort of pseudo spine. I also glued toothpicks around the edges to stop her from flopping about whilst I'm trying to sculpt. Now I can fill in the gaps with epoxy. I also widened her hips and increased the chest size. Then using a jewellery wire armature, I sculpted some big L-style ears. After a whole lot of sanding, it's time to paint. Sketch out a face with watercolour pencils. Blush with soft pastels. And paint with acrylics. I took a lot of inspiration from Yule for the makeup look on this one. I think her aesthetic suits soft fantasy characters perfectly.
to finish, I'm covering the eyes and lips in Duraclear Gloss Varnish. And adding some gold cracks to the body to match her face. Now let's give her some clothes. To make the corset nice and chunky, I drew out the pattern pieces, traced them onto craft foam, and stitched the pieces together. Covering cotton, using a double layer to create the middle ridges. Covering lace, leaving out the middle section. And add white anchor thread for the lace in. Then finish with a couple of tiny gold rings. To build up the outfit I'm starting with cotton strips for the bandages. Then one tight leg and half a bodysuit. Some frilly shorts and a bra. One long sock and a knee sock type thing. Some white ribbon strips. The corset. Some white string. Some gold string. An elbow sock. And some white mesh. I also added more gold string and cut holes into the tights. I'm a big fan of asymmetry if you can't tell. Now to make my first wig. First cover the head in cling film. And again with stretchy mesh and then smother in tacky glue. I did two layers of the mesh with the glue. Once dry, trim off the excess, and we have a wig cap. I'm then going to glue the nylon weft straight to the cap. To make the part line, I remove the cap and cut down the middle. Then glue wefts to the inside flip them over and glue the cap shut. To finish I trim the front so it's a nice shape, smush a flick into the part in and shape the end with some gluey water. Last but not least she needs some wings. I made the armature with soft wire and marked the joints with tape then added a blob of epoxy to each one. I made a template for the wing base, cut the pieces out of craft foam and doubled up to make each other nice and thick. After correcting the shape of the middle section, I glue them to the wire frame. I cut up more cotton strips, the same as the bandages from before, and I'm going to wrap the exposed wire. I'm going to use washi paper for the feathers as it's one of those awesome materials that looks fragile but is actually pretty durable and it also has a great natural texture. I drew out templates for the feathers and tried to work out how many I would need. I then traced them onto the washi paper, folded each one in half, sliced the edges, and then glue them to the frames. I also covered them in Mod Podge to add strength and to make the texture of the paper more apparent. Dry brushed with white acrylic. And added gold acrylic. I wanted to try and recreate that blood soaked bandage look you see in Fallen Angel illustrations, only in this case her blood's gold.
Add some gold string to finish. And then super glue them into the holes I made in a bat, which I forgot to film, my bad. And with that, we're finished. <laughs> <laughs>